Yumela, I'm back. All relieved. Anyway, um, I was talking about TikTok, about, yes, how it is that it's strangely addictive in a way that other social media platforms just aren't. And I'm explaining to you guys how it is that all that is just give away. It's witchcraft. There is a glare on my computer, on my screen, that I, for the life of me, cannot um, overcome. But I'll just continue to speak. Uh, TikTok. No, first let's go. Let's think about YouTube, right? Um, Think about YouTube Shorts, right? When you are in the YouTube Shorts feed and you scroll down, do you feel pulled to just watch every last short there? Every last short. And the YouTube Shorts, mind you, they're all under one minute long, whereas the, the TikTok feed is anything from one minute to ten minutes long. There is no one place that you can go to that is just for shorts, okay? Now, on YouTube, you scroll down the Shorts feed, and if the next video in the shorts feed is not what you want to watch you can just watch only a portion of it and move on or just not even watch it at all you don't feel pulled in magnetically to just watch it to the end to see what in the world is going on yet no such did like activity or no such intact faculties unto your own liberties as to what you want to watch are there on tiktok it's weird it's weird you you scroll down go tiktok and you watch from the beginning to the end every video no matter the duration all of it sometimes even on a loop perpetually just going and going and going with youtube long form content which you don't find i guess in the shorts feed you don't feel uh, you know urged inside your core to just click on sorry to allow yourself to move on to the next video that youtube will recommend for you after your one video is done playing you literally if we like go back to home page and you try and find something there or you keyword search or in the panel on the right you click on whatever you you, you might have been interested in watching uh over there but rarely ever do you find yourself just allowing youtube to tell you what to watch both in youtube in youtube in particular both the short form content so the shorts and the long form content after you have on the shorts feed for instance on youtube when you click subscribe to somebody youtube picks it up move on to the next one subscribe picks it up and if there is a trend as to who it is that you are subscribing to you will find as you go i have spent before about two hours inside youtube shorts one day the, the how it is that i trained my youtube shorts to tell to like recommend stuff to me right i started out just getting whatever was currently trending right on youtube uh, in the shorts feed when i was in there first that was what i was looking at and i'm watching all these people dancing all these people cooking all these people that like um you know cute babies and whatnot and i'm watching i'm watching i'm watching it but whenever i would encounter christian content i would then subscribe to this guy's short or this girl's short move 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 just watch move 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 then subscribe to the next christian and after a two hour process i found that almost every new video that was coming up and the shorts feed on YouTube was starting to become Christian. So basically, YouTube knows what it is that you want and they respect it. TikTok, they're too smart, these Chinese uh, developers. So it's not like they don't know what you want. It's not like their algorithms are not intensely intelligent. It is that they don't care. <laughs> they don't care what you want. They don't care what you want. So on TikTok, you could literally scroll down the feed when you first arrive there as a brand spanking novice new novice very well of course you're going to be coming across a mug bang with 10 million views you're going to come across somebody making carpets there was 50 million views you're going to come across content that's currently trending and is blowing up on tiktok and is number one there your for you page is basically whatever across the world everybody is liking but it never dials down. It never dials down. That's why I stopped going on the For You page on TikTok. I just stopped. It never dials down. Like, literally, the same people that are perpetually trending will keep on getting recommended to you, despite you just moving right by them. Despite you moving past them. Literally, ever, like, hey, guys, as in <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> It's a liver exy. TikTok as a liver exy, yalla. As a liver exy. And say it's some buyer hard knock spells that she casts. Do you understand? Say it's a liver exy. In fact, says ni a liver exy, and it's a snack, say exy. Marada say exy nonetheless. On TikTok, you will scroll down. Utakara some chick or some dude or trend down. Move it on. Another thing, also I think face beat. Move it on. There's nothing more disturbing to me than than hearing f bombs and s bombs. Swearing, I can't stand swearing. It really disturbs my spirit when it lands on me. Do you understand? So for me, 
to mistakenly happen upon somebody or it's just it's a lot i can't take it and i wish i didn't have to go through that do you know what i mean but on tiktok many of these people that do their face beats their random comedy skits uh, uh, so i just so happen to hop upon this information and planned and beknownst to myself because the video yet thingy you don't even it's not paused unlike on youtube that starts out paused you click on it then it starts to play on tiktok as soon as you you are in the page it's playing as soon as you're in the page it's playing and if your sound is on if the person would call like the f word but the f bomb and there's nothing you can do about it you don't get to decide if you want to hear this or not you just start to hear and it plays and plays and plays and you will find yourself strangely eerily freakishly watching all the way to the end content you didn't quite sign up for and no matter how much you follow content that you prefer i have followed so many christians on tiktok literally hoping that tiktok will realize that while i might watch certain other videos i only follow these guys i only follow guys that cover this kind of content tiktok doesn't care it's not like i have started getting more christian content it's not like i have started getting only christian content on the for you page it doesn't matter how long there was a day when i eerily stuck around and when i looked at the time no fit like hours and no matter how many Christians I followed by the end of that three hours, TikTok was still recommending mukbangs to me. It was still recommending people that are cooking. It was still recommending people that are dancing. It was still recommending people that are making funny little artifacts. It was still recommending face beats. It was, and I'm like, man, at what point is TikTok going to be trained and educated to know who I am? Does TikTok not know? Is the algorithm Yako TikTok not smart enough to understand a person? No. It's not that it's not smart enough. It's China. They're some of the most cleverest people in the world. It's that they don't care. That you want to be better than that. You don't want to take drugs. You're responsible. There was this song back in the day, this advert, an anti-drug campaign. It went, I know who I am. I know I'm special. I don't need drugs. I'm addicted to life. You could be singing that song on TikTok. Rock up on some, I know who I am, I know I'm special, or I need is Christ, I'm addicted to life. You could be singing that song on TikTok, and TikTok gonna be like, I don't care, you gonna love Satan, you gonna love Satan, you gonna love Satan, and all that, all manner and kinds of demonic content that you did not sign up for. It essentially defibrillates people out of sobriety. So the good content creators on TikTok that are putting very lofty, ed edifying, healthy content, unfortunately for them, their reach is only insofar as that particular TikToker is in their page. Their reach is only insofar as that particular TikToker is in their, their, their page. Now, the Bible says, do not be transforming conformed to this world but be renew uh, transformed by the renewing of your minds right the scriptures make it clear that how it is that you take out grime is by extracting dirt why is by putting in good stuff into yourself in that uh, story with the when christ was explaining okay let's just move on to the next part because this is going to take a little bit of explanation for me to do